Hello guys, wagwan wagwan my people, we're still on the ripple.com website dash insights dash or slash crypto 2023. So obviously this article is brought to you by Ripple, uh, Team Ripple, uh, written on January 10th, 2023, Crypto 2023, a focus on real world utility. The arrival of a new year is often viewed as an opportunity for a reset or a fresh start. The sense of optimism is welcome in crypto as the industry settles from a roller coaster year. But it's also well deserved as the negative headlines of 2022 clouded industry players that continue to make technology gains and maintain steady moves to the mainstream. So what does 2023 hold for crypto and the blockchain? In a world utility, this was the watch world of nearly every Ripple executive that weighed in with predictions for the year. From non-fungible tokens, NFTs, to central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, to sustainability. Most of the expectations for crypto this morning, this coming year, involve its application for real world utility right that's what i've been talking about i don't want to cover no digital technology that does not have an application or have a solution all right so everything that you see on my channel you hear on my channel that i talk about on this channel is all utility all right so cbdc and nfts get real partly in reaction to the turmoil of 2022, Ripple's SVP of Engineering, De- Devraj Varadhan, expects to see a general shift in the marketplace from highly speculative companies to companies that harness crypto solutions to solve real-world problems and address unmet customer needs. He believes these are the companies that will reap long-term success. And I believe that too. And I believe also that moving forward, uh, not just 2023, that this technology is going to be uh, adapted throughout the years to come. A focus on real world application will also help propel the coming age of CBDCs. Sang Di Young, Managing Director of Europe, says the potential for CBDCs to amplify the role of central banks and the boost and, and boost financial inclusion will lead more non-Eurozone European nations to announce CBDC pilots in 2023. James Willis, VP of Central Bank Engagements, expects to see CBDC pilot programs around the world in the year ahead with an emphasis on interoperable CBDC solutions that enhance cross-border payments. This shift to utility the utility extend to NFTs as well. While the first wave of NFTs centered around the digital art and collectibles, there is already a a nascent second wave exploring real-world use cases such as real real estate and carbon markets. Ripple CTO David Swartz says these types of applications that solve for efficiency and transparency in ownership will determine which use case stick and whether nfts are here to stay so institution double down on blockchain so greater utility also lies in the root of continued institutional adoption of crypto and blockchain ripple svp and managing director of apac book brooks and twistle and twistle believes concerns around liquidity will continue to weed out the crypto companies that have relied on hype cycles and compares this evolution to the dot com bubble which showed a similar showed a similar case of rapid growth inevitable crash and industry maturation despite the market downturn sandy young expects institutions to accelerate long-term adoption of crypto solutions because of the potential gains in efficiency, transparency, and speed. Quote, Bank and other large financial institutions will invest in new technologies 
with an expectation of realizing the benefits not in days and weeks but in years. So we see the embrace of digital assets and blockchain coming throughout 2023 and beyond, she said. I believe that too. I see that. That has already been sustain, su substantiated by firms like Barclays, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, MasterCard, Morgan Stanley, SBI, and Visa, all pursuing blockchain-related projects. What did we just read about with Visa partnering with PayPal? And then PayPal partnering with Rhea. And Rhea, who's partnered with Ripple. Come on now. Uh, listen, they have to do it this way because of the SEC. They have to put it in articles. All right. From crypto custody and trading to, pay, to, to payments and trade execution. The question for banks is no longer if they should have a crypto strategy, but rather what is the strategy and how do they plan to execute? And remember, guys, when I first talk about SEC going after Ripple, the technology, right? Not the company. They were trying to kill the technology. They don't want to kill the company. As you can see, they can't kill the company. They're trying to slow down the technology, which they've been successful in doing within their own country, Right? But we talked about the fact that they would make fun of the technology. Then they, once they see the progression of the technology, they realize that they can't stop it. Then they'll start hating on the technology. And if they, once they see that they cannot uh, kill the technology, then they're going to start slowly joining, adapting. But throughout the whole time that they've been making fun of the technology, they're buying it. Don't believe that they're not doing that. Anyway, so the great impact of sustainability through crypto. Ken Weber, Ripple's VP of Impact, predicts that large non-governmental organizations will begin to integrate into crypto. Or integrate crypto into their programming to better serve the financial vulnerability such as refugees and displaced persons because it can function as a cross-border payment mechanism when traditional corridors are compromised or ineffective. Crypto's real-world utility also extends to impact-oriented and sustainability-oriented initiatives. This is playing out now in Ukraine, where more than $50 million in crypto donations have helped bolster relief efforts and supports its defense against Russia. Many of the world's top charities like Mercy, Mercy Corps, Feed in America, accept cryptocurrency donation because it is a faster and more effective alternative to international fiat. To into more than, you hear that? Because, all right, so let's read that again. Many of the world's top charities like Mercy Corps, corporations, Feed in America, accept cryptocurrency donation because it is faster and more effective alternative to international fiat transfer when it when time is of the essence let that soak in crypto and blockchain are becoming increasingly important contributors to the fight against climate change 2022 was the watershed year for crypto sustainability as industry work to reduce its own carbon footprint through the ethereum merge and efforts like the Crypto Climate Accord and Change the Code that reduce Bitcoin mining's environment impact. And as I read this statement, something come to mind that says, maybe crypto needs to just go through this fire. We know that they can't kill it, the blockchain. But they can weed out the bad guys, which we want. We want them to weed out, help us to weed out the bad guys. There's a lot of bad guys in crypto that needs to get out. As you can see, FTX and a bunch of other ones. Uh, they, these guys are just seeking, seeking for the nothing like a good stretch. Yeah, and all these guys are just seeking for the fast money, the fast cash. Right? So, crypto and blockchain are becoming increasingly important contributors to the fight against climate change. That's important, guys. Innovative car carbon removal companies like Carbon Cure, Carbon Title, and New Light began to leverage blockchain to better track and sell carbon credits. And established companies steps, stepped 
and established companies step up with significant financial commitments like Ripple's $100 million pledge to to scale voluntarily carbon markets and Hedera's $100 million. Edera, yeah, I haven't done a video on Edera, I don't think, but yeah, man, I have, I, you know, I'm familiar with Edera too as well. Edera is $100 million sustainability impact fund. Weber says this momentum will only continue in 2023 with carbon markets emerging as a clear use case for blockchain and crypto, accelerating the shift towards a greener global economy. We're seeing all these institutional starting to merge into crypto we're going to see that more so in, in 2023 so connecting the world to web3 to help realize this utility and these impact goals the team at ripple expect two shifts to happen in the area of training and development over this course of 2023 first in response to corporate demand and an increasingly competitive talent uh, pool universities will begin to more uh, explicitly prepare graduating students for careers in crypto and blockchain solutions. Well, have they heard that more university and majority of university students in tech, in tech and engineering, they want to move over to the blockchain because this is all new and this is the future and it aligns with everything that has been coming up. AI, um, coding, all these things. It, you know, 5G and all these, everything, it lines up with it. Drone delivery, I have to put that out there. You know, it lines up with blockchain. Ripple's SVP of Strategic Innovatives, Eric Van Multenberg, predicts that by 2025, at least half of the global universities will have incorporated blockchain. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Crypto and Web3 into their core business and finance programs. Wow, by 2025, eh? I had that vision. I had that vision before, by 2025. Yeah, man. So anyway, second, the industry will prioritize, prioritize customer experience, especially bridging the worlds of crypto and fiat. Varad Han says, this is a major hurdle in crypto utility today and that those companies able to master the on-ramps and off-ramps to crypto will earn a significant competitive advantage for years to come. So let's dive into common sense policy. Of course, all of this growth will prove unsustainable without further clarity on policy and regulations. Yes, that's very important. Andrew Whitworth, policy director of M. EMEA expects that regulators around the world will be more engaged in 2023 and they have to when they start seeing all, all the institution emerging merging into it whatever the people want the government has to be to, to, to play towards that because if they of course some of them are going to try to control it and try to denounce it and try to control the narrative but if it's a narrative that they cannot control they have to follow th suit Anyway, so in particular, Gulf states such as Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and Bahrain will push forward with new crypto frameworks for the, re for the region while countries across Africa will make a strong pitch for how to maximize crypto solutions in service to their economies and citizens. There's a lot of people around the world that need this, guys. In APAC policy director Rahul Avani, says growing customers growing growing consumers in business adoption of decentralized finance DeFi applications will motivate regulators to the monetary authority of singapore and japan's financial service agency to press ahead with efforts initiated in 2022 closer to home general counsel stu alderotti expect to see the judge's decision in Ripple's ongoing case with the SEC in the first half of 2023. They, 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 they've been talking about this and a timeline. I am not uh, focused on no timeline because, because every time these guys make speculations about timeline, they're often wrong. And one of one that's favorable, favorable to Ripple. 
He believes this this will be the catalyst needed to push U.S. crypto industry toward and forward and stop businesses from offshoring their crypto work. Quote, we fought this crisis on behalf of the entire crypto industry and American innovation so we can gain the regulatory clarity we desperately need for crypto innovation to flourish in the United States, he says. Susan Friedman, Ripple's director of policy, concurs, saying she hopes this year will define will be definite will be defined by a common sense policy approach in the U.S. She is encouraged by leaders on both sides the both sides the aisle throughout Congress engaging on new legislation, new legislative solutions that protect consumers, clarify control over spot markets, and properly classify tokens i've made this bold statement before but i believe that trump is going to be running on the crypto ticket you don't believe me wait time will tell crypto market maturation 2022 saw more than its fair share of collapse with companies like ftx celsius voyager and three hour capital likely resulting in increased consolidation across the industry Declining valuations and distressed assets will present opportunities to acquire capabilities and expertise that would otherwise require significant time and resources to build in-house. Young predicts that more crypto and blockchain firms will also be acquired by traditional financial systems, financial services players, and established companies from other sectors. She says this increased solution is a sign of market maturation and will lead to an overall healthier ecosystem. Ripple's Varadhan issue issued perhaps with bolster prediction foreseeing the rise of the next Apple or Amazon in crypto solutions. Ooh, he believes that the crypto and economic challenge challenges of the past year will force companies to refocus on their visions and consumer needs. That is true. And that the industry will emphasize unparalleled customer experience as a result. Quote, quote, to achieve any vision, a company must have a customer obsessed culture, a long-term focus, the courage to accept failure, and the willingness to double down when it sees customer delight, he explained. Ultimately, the entire Ripple team is optimistic that the crypto winter will give rise to a crypto spring, that 2022 will prove to have been a uh, what is it? crucible crucible, crucible here with the industry emerging stronger and more focused on real-world utility because of it. That's true. I believe that. You have to go through the fire to test this technology. And through the fire, this technology went through and was tested, right? All right. See, on the Ripple website, you get a lot of articles that uh, shows you, like, you know what I mean? I said, this doesn't look like something I would read. You know what I mean, I say? Or in this one too as well. You know what I mean, I say? So maybe I'll come back again and read another one on the river, but right now I'm on tired. I have to get ready for work. So guys, thank you, for, thank, you, thank you for taking the time to listen to another one of me, my voice, and the articles. And, you know, just read it and, and, and then try to get the vocabulary up on another level. You see it? So this is where these guys like to hide. Hide everything. And then you have the guys on the media which we sometimes rely on to to share the news, but most of the time they're putting in their opinion of it because probably they're hiding from plagiarism and other other, other sort. But then they twist up the, the thing. So I don't I don't see nothing wrong with me coming on here and saying, all right, I'm gonna go on a, a, a on a newspaper. I'm not gonna just record myself or read the newspaper. Of course, I'm gonna give you all the sources where I get it from. All the uh, the date, the author, and everything of where I get all of this thing from, of course, right? But I don't see nothing wrong with it. I am just showing you and sharing, sharing with you that, listen, this is where the world is going to. So prepare yourself when it comes to this, this part of the world. This is not everything, but this we should be prepared for. Don't make it just licking at your head 